Our penultimate task here for this module is to configure secure dynamic updates, which is a total review for what we talked about back in that last module. And arguably, probably, I should have left it to this module because it exists here. Uh, but for completeness, I just want to re-remind you that for the zones that you're configuring, like company.pri up here, when you configure that zone down here under properties, there is a little option down here under general for configuring dynamic updates. When you configure them, you have the option of choosing no, no dynamic updates, or you'll be entering in all these records manually. Secure and non-secure dynamic updates, which lets any incoming client request a record here in DNS. Or secure only, which can occur only when you've got an Active Directory integrated domain, because the authentication of that client is handled by Active Directory. So you know that a client participates in Active Directory before you give it a record here in DNS. As I said, this is kind of a repeat from what we talked about back in that last module, but I would be aware of what these dynamic updates are because they are very useful as the size of your domain gets large.